I'm about to show you how to easily convert a stock off-roader into a flying vehicle. And then I'll provide you some very important flying tips to avoid glitching out your vehicle or getting stuck to the sky. Yeah, of course that can actually happen in LEGO Fortnite. Mobility can be a huge challenge in this game. You have a massive map with multiple villages and multiple biomes and getting between them is often a slow and boring process. It's time to take to the skies. We've been doing a lot of experimenting with flying vehicles and they can get complicated to build very quickly. But I wanted to find an easy build for people just getting started so I decided to take the off-roader and make it fly. We start with building an off-roader, which I covered in my custom cars video in detail, so check that out if you want to understand more of the parts involved. Otherwise, just select the pre-build plans from your build menu and follow the steps until completed. LEGO has made some improvements recently in the ruggedness of these rugged rollers, and they also climb hills a bit better, but we want to fly. To upgrade our off-roader, we'll need these materials. They're all items you can find fairly early on in the game, so you'll likely just need to gather them. Having a villager or two making fabrics is highly recommended if you want to make more flying vehicles since they're required for the balloons. Let's start with the roof. Climb onto the hood, remove the lights from the roof, and add a wood foundation 3 centered on the top of the roof. Place a small chest on the roof near the back. You should be able to see one row of Lego dots behind the chest and three in front of it. Place a small balloon behind the chest, as close to the center as you can. Basically, there is no exact center, so pick either dot near the center to place it. Place two more small balloons in front of the chest on each side. Symmetry is very important when designing flying vehicles, but this one will still fly pretty well for a first-time aviator. Add the headlights back on. I like to put them one dot back so they aren't as easily broken off. That's it for the roof for now. Time to add some rocket power to the back. Add two small thrusters to the top along the gray border, just a little inside from the sides. Add two more small thrusters below those, but above the gray border, as you see here. We want two side thrusters so you can make quick turns. You can use back thrusters for turning, but you'll need a lot more room to make your turn. Place a small thruster on each side right against the bend of the front fender. If you use the nudge, you shouldn't be able to place it any further left or down against the fender, and that's when you know you have the right spot. Wolf and I originally came up with a lower wing for the thrusters, but placement was difficult, and sometimes we get stuck getting out of the driver's seat, so we found an easier solution. Roof wings. We build the wings with flooring, and you can use any style and color of floor, as long as it measures 8x2x1. By by we use the rustic thin floor too. Place one along the top edge of the wood foundation block on the roof. Place another floor piece directly on top of that last piece, then one next to that one. Repeat this for both sides of the roof. Both sides of the roof should look like a mirror image of each other, so rotate around and check them from all sides. Next, add three small thrusters to that flooring board on each side, centered on the board. You're almost ready to fly, but first grab your wrench, or go craft one on the workbench if you don't already have a wrench. We need to connect some of the thrusters to the numbered control buttons on the driver's seat. All of the thrusters default to channel 3, and I have no idea why they do that. Let's start with the side turning thrusters. On the passenger side, set the side thruster to channel 2. So when you press the button to activate channel 2, you will turn left. On the driver's side, change the side thruster to channel 1 for right turns. Next, let's adjust the roof thrusters. On the driver's side, change the left thruster to channel 2 and turn off channel 3. Leave the center thruster on channel 3 and change the right thruster to channel 1 and turn off channel 3. On the passenger side, do the same settings with the left thruster on channel 2, the center on channel 3, and the right thruster on channel 1. This setup gives you an up boost when you're making your turns, plus you can hit the 1 and 2 buttons together to boost up. That's it! Your off-roader is ready to fly. Throw in some power cells and you'll also be able to drive around, although this vehicle is more for flying since the balloons make it very light on its tires. Still very handy for maneuvering before flight so you can avoid hitting trees or buildings. If the flight path ahead of you is clear, you can just hit the 3 thruster to go forward. If you'd like to get some height first, either 1 or 2 for turning will also get you height. But if you hit both 1 and 2, you should go up faster and spin less. I did say should, because nothing in this game is for sure. If you try to build this same vehicle again, it will probably fly slightly different than this one. If it seems completely out of control, you can also try going to lobby to reset the server, then come back into your world and try again. Vehicles used to disappear often, but they're not supposed to anymore. Find yourself an open field and practice a few takeoffs and landings. Also, your flying off-roader should float, so you can safely land on the water. Here's a quick LEGO Fortnite Flight School class to prepare you for your adventures. If you can drive a car, you can learn how to fly in LEGO Fortnite. 
And if you're too young to drive, don't worry, because you'd probably be able to drive better than your parents if you were allowed to. We're limited to only three channels on the current versions of the driver's seat. In land vehicles, you can go forward, left, and right, and you're usually fine. In flying vehicles, you also want to go up. The trick to flying in LEGO Fortnite is to not fly too high. I know that sounds crazy, but there is an invisible ceiling in the sky that you can't see, and if you hit it, you can get stuck and glitch your vehicle. Most of the time when you hit the ceiling, you will get stuck, and after a few seconds, you'll start to float down. So try to give it a little time. I once went to refill my water, and two minutes later, I finally started to float down. If you've given up hope or it's been much longer, you can try to remove the highest point on your aircraft, if that's possible. I popped one of my balloons that was higher than the others, and that helped me escape the sky flypaper once. And when I finally hit the ground, I was able to add the balloon back on and keep flying. You can also try going to lobby and coming back in, and hopefully you'll be near your vehicle and it will be fine. Just try to stay high enough to be above the trees and go around bigger trees and mountains, and you'll have no problem getting around your map. The frost areas are the trickiest areas because of their altitude and the likelihood you'll hit the ceiling more often. But if you take it a little slower and try to just stay along the lower areas between higher peaks, you can still fly around. That's why we try to design flying vehicles that fly forward fast and also are able to gain altitude without flying forward by adding down thrusters to the turning channels. You can go up when you need and also not lose altitude while you're trying to make turns, but you can also get to where you want to go quickly. You also often need to land in areas surrounded by trees or near hills, so being able to fly straight up is handy, and you can also use the vehicle power to move to a better launch spot when needed. That's it! Don't be afraid! You may bust up a few vehicles along the way, but you'll get most of your parts back so you can rebuild them, or build new ones. Keep tinkering and trying different variations. That's what LEGO is all about. We're going to be covering more advanced flying vehicles in our upcoming videos. So please subscribe or follow to my channels, and hit the like button. Thank you so much. Uh...